Welcome back to the Evil Within, my friends. This is chapter number 5, and in this chapter there are 11 collectibles for us to pick up, as well as 3 keys. Uh, we have a boss fight in this chapter, which can be a little bit tricky. And there's also a cutscene, or a segment of the game, where we will be providing cover for one of our teammates, which again, uh, can be a little bit of a tricky section. Plus this chapter is kind of long, uh, but I'll do my best to guide you through it. So we got the first two collectibles, and now we're going to obtain the third collectible. Uh, in order to obtain uh, this collectible, we need to come uh, to the safe room during this uh, segment. Here it is, investigation stalls. And now I'm not going to do any upgrades at the moment, I'm just going to backtrack and actually start the chapter. Uh, like I said, I had to come into the safe room to obtain this collectible, otherwise I would have missed it. Have your flash bolts ready um, as we get ready to start uh, the chapter. There's a little bit of handgun ammunition here, which I don't need. And now in the door to our left, we are going to find two bottles of green gel, as well as a few matches. We will encounter one of the invisible enemies here. So we're going to use the same strategy that we used when we first encountered them. Wait for the eye icon to pop in the screen. As it pops, shoot uh, a flash bolt into the floor. That will blind them and then you can stab them. Uh, it's actually a really easy kill. These dudes drop 1000 green gel, so it's a good idea to collect it. Don't ask me why there's a creepy laughter whenever we open that door. I don't know what causes it, but there's no effect like whatsoever in the game. Uh, as we go down there, we're going to obtain our first key, which is on the back of this rat. Uh, an interesting place to place a statue, but oh well. And as we progress into this next section, there are going to be two more invisible enemies. Again, we're going to use the same strategy. Wait for the eye icon to appear. You can actually see their movements uh, because you see objects being moved and you can see their footprints. Um, but so you can use other weapons to knock them down and then burn them. I'm not going to burn them because I don't want to waste any matches, especially in this chapter. Uh, we're going to need quite a few matches, so it's a good idea to save them up. Here comes another one. Once again, follow the same stra strategy. Uh, don't stand so close to me, that's for sure. And now we're going to head towards this door to obtain the key card, which will unlock the gate uh, that will allow us to continue this chapter. So. Be ready, however, as you because as you try to step out, another enemy will appear. So once again, we're going to throw a flash bolt into the floor, and now stab him. So really easy method. Uh, these enemies really aren't anything special. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes they can catch you off guard, but if you pay close attention to your surroundings, you'll notice objects move. And whenever you see the eye appear, that means that you can fire your bolt because that means that the enemy will be affected by it. Two more bottles of green gel right here. We're going to collect them. Oh, there's Ruvik. I guess we need to follow him. First, let's collect some more handgun bullets right here. And now we're going to head down and we're going to have to participate in a little mini game. Uh, I call it little, but it's actually not little at all because if you fail this mini game, you die. And you don't want that. So there are three rooms here. We have to pick through all three of them. And as we step inside, we have to press a button. 
that will make a few spikes come f uh, from the ground. Uh, we're going to want to select the left button here, otherwise the, instead of the spikes coming through the body, they will come through the ground and you will be impaled and you will die obviously. In this room it's the same thing, we're going to press the left button. If you press the right button then you'll die. So why would you do that? Pick up the green gel bottle and there's a file here which we are going to collect. So this is collectible number 4. I wonder if this document was written by Ruvik. It might be. And a little bit of information. This Laura woman that is talking about, uh, she's the spider leg lady that uh, haunted us in the previous chapter. In here you want to press the right button. And now we're going to listen to this recording. Okay, so that's collectible number 5, already pressed the button and now we just have to approach this wall. Ah, don't be so dramatic. So there's more green gel to pick up here and as we cross the next door we're going to witness a little cutscene. So I'll let you guys enjoy that in peace. Joseph. Okay, so we need to give uh, some energy to uh, Joseph here. He's going to be tagging along with us right now. And we need to watch out for him. Otherwise he will die. Considering he was in a bathtub filled with... Uh, well, a very suspicious white gooey liquid. I'm not surprised that he isn't feeling all that well. I wouldn't, I don't know, but that's just my opinion. And here there's a little bit more green gel to pick up. And now as we move towards the next room we're going to stealth kill this psycho nurse. Um, I guess she's looking out for all the bodies that are asleep in the beds. We're going to slowly approach her and stab her and now we're going to burn all the bodies in the beds because if you don't do that then they will wake up and they will attack you and considering you're with Joseph here um, Joseph can die if Joseph dies you it's game over so you don't want that so instead we're just going to burn them before they even have a time to get up they at least two of them should drop a little bit of green gel. We're going to collect that. Up ahead you can see a little bit more handgun ammunition in case you need it. You probably don't though. This chapter has a lot of ammunition because there are just so many fights with enemies. that They were really nice and kind and gave us 
more than enough ammunition to complete this chapter without trouble. If you knock this body into the floor, you will uh, be revived and attack you, so you don't want that either. Because you can just escape, since Joseph will stay back and fight him. And Joseph takes a little bit of time to take even a single enemy down. Approach this door. Let Joseph do his thing. Pretty sophisticated. Why would they put a bomb like this? Do you think we can get past it? Stand back. Let me see if I can disarm it. Well, we're just going to wait for him to disarm the door. And up ahead we'll find two more collectibles to pick up. Just move ahead. Oh, this what isn't is good. I thought it was something electronic. <laughs> Clean your nose, Joseph. Those are some weird boogers. Just get out of here. There's something wrong with this place. Yeah. I'd say that's an understatement, but sure. So as we move up the stairs, we are going to pick up another map fragment, and then we will we need to go back to the safe room to obtain another uh, article. And we're also going to do a few upgrades. Uh, it might not be. It might not be a bad idea for you guys to save the game before you cross that door over there, since the next section can be a little bit hard. Let's go get that uh, that uh, article. I knew it. It's in the newspaper stand right here. And now we're going to open up a few of the lockers with our keys. Um, I'm going to try and collect a little bit more green gel because I'm going to try and upgrade my handgun uh, as much as I can since my handgun is going to come in handy for the upcoming uh, battle. So that's not exactly what I wanted. Let's try another door. Some green gel, very nice. And let's see here, let's try this one, yep this one always contains green gel so let's pick it up as well. And now we're going to take care of our upgrades. Like I said in this, uh, for this series of upgrades I'm going to focus on my handgun. I'm going to try and increase the critical uh, hit as much as I can. So I'll be able to increase it until level 4. That means that I have a higher chance to kill off my enemies when I hit them in the head. I'm also going to increase the damage a little bit. And also the accuracy, because the handgun has really bad accuracy. Even in level 3 accuracy uh, or level 4, if you're not aiming perfectly well at your enemy's head, it will miss. Uh, and sometimes this game does a weird thing where you can even be aiming at the enemy, but if he is looking sideways, the bullet will cross through him and not hit him. Uh, so that's a little bit bizarre. But that takes care of uh, that. And now we're going to head through the door. First, you can collect a few shotgun shells and matches from here. I already have the maximum amount of shotgun shells, so I can't collect any more. And just go through the door.
Kidman! Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. <laughs> it's much more elaborate. Of course. Surprised he didn't break his head. Joseph, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Think you better get down okay, here. so the goal here is to dispose of all the enemies, but you need to watch out for Joseph because, like I said, he can die, and if he dies, you'll have to start this chapter all over again. As you kill two enemies, quickly run towards this cell, shoot all the three enemies that are coming down with your shotgun, and you'll be able to burn them, then quickly turn around. And that towards this exit right here once again shoot all the enemies and if you use the shotgun they will all fall and if all goes well you should be able to burn them all with a single match sometimes it doesn't work out so if it doesn't work out for you burn as many as you can uh, and then just use your handgun to dispose of the rest like i said your main goal here is to keep joseph alive especially in this first segment um, his ai isn't that bad but he gets overwhelmed rather easily <laughs> and he's covered I don't know how he can even see anything at this point since he's covered in the enemy's blood let's use these sacks to dispose of uh, this woman next up there's going to be enemies with dynamite coming inside you can shoot them in the legs uh, that will make them fall and then you can just calmly wait for them to explode um, do be careful though because if they get close enough to you and they explode they will deal heavy damage then as soon as you dispose of that guy move upstairs and wait by this door right here here they come shoot the enemies down with your uh, and I just waited, wasted a match which I don't know why I used it in the first place because apparently I was in a good enough position to burn them but for some reason that didn't work ok let's wait for these two to get up then I hate when he does this, like he, he uses a match even though, or the game prompts me to use a match even though we, apparently the match misses. Let's shoot him in the head, again that this is why it's so important to increase your weapon's critical hit, that way uh, you just have a higher chance of blowing their heads off with a single shot. You can wait for the dude to blow up. Uh, like I said, as long as you shoot them in the leg and they fall, they'll detonate uh, and kill themselves. Sometimes you can even do a little bit of crowd control using this method. Now we're going to quickly move downstairs and approach uh, this door right here. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies with masks coming. But again, we're just going to use the same strategy. Couple of shotgun shots to throw them on the floor and then hopefully you will be able to burn most of them with a single match so it's a pretty simple process there, there are two more enemies with uh, dynamite coming uh, it's kind of pointless for you to waste ammo uh, with them uh, just be a little bit patient and they'll detonate themselves let him follow and there we go so before we go and assist uh, Jill Valentine, I mean, sorry, Kidman, um, we're going to collect all the collect all the items uh, that the enemies drop and that we can find. Uh, she won't run anytime soon, so don't worry. Um, now we're going through here, pick up a little bit more handgun ammunition. So. Uh, while the method that I use does allow you to save a considerable amount of a ammo by using matches to dispose of as many enemies as possible, you can collect a, a fairly big amount of ammo um, after you dispose of the enemies. So I wouldn't be too worried about running out of ammo unless you've been shooting like crazy up until this point. If you have then you might have some problems. But otherwise the the ammo that the game gives you is more than enough a little bit more green gel let me pick up this axe because we will need it 
and a few more matches precisely the amount that I need okay now let's talk with Joseph and try to free Kidman I think there's another control panel around here we're running out of time where do these cables go I'll go tell me what to do okay so now all that we need to do is follow the cables and we need to do this before Kidman's uh, chamber is filled with water or whatever that liquid is um, otherwise it will be game over we're just going to run past this area there are two enemies with dynamite over here ignore them you can run past them it's a waste of time and ammo to take care of them plus they kill themselves with the dynamite again we're going to run past this dude uh, he was blocking my passage there a little bit uh, it's like we had an invisible wall and the passcode for these two sequence of buttons is 22.5. You can just wait for Joseph to let you know, but... We don't really get a break in this game now, do we? Oh well. We're not going to jump down, instead we're going to go around because there's another statue with a key to obtain. We're going to use the axe to bust open the lock on this cell and here is the statue. Pick up the key. Uh, there's also a cell with a little bit of handgun ammunition right here. I don't need it, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys where it is and sometimes there might be some green gel in this room and in the other uh, it's not the case this time so now we're just going to follow uh, Joseph and Kidman we're going to jump down nothing go good's going to come from it I'm sure but oh well where'd they go? Get your shotgun ready because there are two enemies who come running at you in this area. If you throw them both to the floor you can just fire at them both. You can use a match on both of them and that way you'll dispose of them rather easily. They do get up fairly fast. Go back to the ground you idiot. Get out of my way. Pick up these parts. Sometimes there's some green gel here, other times there isn't really up to the gods to the side and now we're just going to follow them in this area there's a little bit more green gel to pick up Even though I've upgraded his stamina to level 3, I swear, it seems like Castellanos is like a, a chronic smoker or something. I mean, the guy gives like 10 steps and he's already worn out. Let's burn these two bodies down and there are three more enemies to face here. They didn't drop any green gel again, we have to watch out uh, for Joseph, because if he dies, it's game over. Let's burn the fat one down. Uh, let me pick up the eggs, otherwise I'll just waste a bunch of ammo. There we go. And now just one more to take care of. There we go. Why didn't you do anything, Kidman? Just a few bumps, we're fine. Well, it seems to me Kidman wasn't doing much of anything. But all the, the entire gang has reunited. So that's good. I doubt it will last long. It looks like the door's locked from the other side. Sebastian, 
Maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. Yeah, we're counting on you, Jill. Somehow, I don't think that wearing high heels for a mission like this is uh, the most appropriate of attires, but oh well. I just don't think it would be very easy to run with in, in them. Open up, please. There we go. Let's get out of here. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Not again. Man, the story gets more freaky by the minute. Another one of those doors. Okay, time to pick up the last collectibles in this game. There are four collectibles to pick up uh, in this area. Two, the two, first two are in this room, and the, in the other two are in the safe room. Let's pick up the diary or journal. So apparently Castellanos um, is going to get married with his former partner. Something tells me that uh, wedding didn't turn out all that well, but I guess time will tell. Let's go into the safe room and collect the last two collectibles in the chapter. Pick up the journal, uh, the newspaper article. Patient had escaped, and I'll turn around and pick up the missing person's file, Fernando. Uh, you might want to save your game here, uh, because you're about to have a boss fight. I saved my game uh, anyway, just to be on the safe side. I just really don't feel like replaying, the sh replaying everything in case something goes wrong. Um, head towards this door on the right, um, there's a hidden treasure chest to pick up, so we're going to go uh, ahead and get it, since it's got quite the interesting loot, be careful here, since these spikes activate, I'm going to approach this dude slowly and try and throw a bottle and now stab him, let's see if it works, yes it did, awesome. And look at that, we get a trophy, Bloody Bar Brawl. So to get the Bloody Bar Brawl trophy, we need to throw a bottle at one of our enemies and then slowly approach them and stealth kill them. And that will unlock this uh, trophy. Let's take care of the chest. Remember, just try and open it slowly. Uh, as soon as you hear the bomb about to go off, close it again and you'll be able to collect its contents without any problems. A little bit more green gel and now we're going to add all the way around. There are two more enemies in this room before we proceed towards the boss fight. Disarm this trap to get a few more parts. They never hurt. It never hurts to, to have them. And here are the two enemies, so get your shotgun ready. One shot should be enough um, to knock both of them on the floor. Plus you just collected some ammo, so you should have enough ammo to progress towards the next fight. Um, oops. Now in the next boss fight you don't really need to waste any ammo at all. Uh, I might use a couple of handgun bullets but that's it. Just enter this room and approach the wall. Here comes our ring reject. Actually she reminds me of the ring girl, you know, you know the movie Ring, right? 
Well, she reminds me of the little crazy psycho girl that killed everyone, uh, but just in her adult form, I guess. So as the game just explained here, she is weak to fire. So we need to use fire to dispose of her. She is vulnerable to standard weapons as well, but you'd have to waste so many bullets to get rid of her that it's really not a good idea and instead we're going to use our surroundings to dispose of her rather easily. First open this uh, locker and there's another statue again in the back of an animal. I don't know why they do this. Oh, sorry. I hate that they made me kill a crow to get it. You can actually shoot the statue and keep the crow alive. Uh, I guess my aim needs a little bit more tuning. Okay, so it's time for the boss fight. We're going to fight Laura, aka Spider Lady. So the way this battle works is that she uses the bodies in this area to manifest herself. So if you wait by the body and you wait precisely before she comes out, you can burn her with matches. You can also use these little torches and in this room when she manifests herself in a body, you can pull this lever down and that will make her fall into the blast furnace and that will make her burn as well. So as you can see you don't need to waste any ammo at all. Again we're going to wait for her to appear, then throw the... Uh, oops. Well, she came a little bit sooner than I expected and I actually missed burning her, but that's okay because we got this torch right here. And again, we're just going to keep following the same procedure. She always appears in the body that's closest to you. Wait, she didn't burn again? Oh, well, that's just bad luck. Where is she? Ah, there she is. Oh, she's coming rather fast. Um, so yeah, you need to time the the moment where you throw the match in perfectly otherwise for some reason it missed her even though that uh, match should have burned her but that's okay because there are also two uh, canisters like this here oh god come on get out of my way and when you shoot them as she gets close to them she will also burn so that takes care of one and now we're just going to move up ahead there's another furnace right up the stairs. Well, great time for you to wear yourself out, Castellanos. Shut up. Okay, now we're just going to wait here. She will use one of the bodies below to appear. So we just press it as she's about to appear and that will burn her down. And that gets the battle over with. Like I said, it's a shame that I wasted two matches, but it's really, uh, it sh they should have burned her. I don't know why they didn't, really. She drops a ton of green gel, so we're going to pick it up right here. Um, like I said, as you saw, the battle is incredibly easy. Uh, I only used one handgun bullet, and I didn't even need to use any, really, uh, if those matches had worked. But that's how you dispose of Laura without having any problems at all. So despite her seeming all scary and spooky and ring-like, uh, she's incredibly easy to deal with. Do be careful though, because if she eats you even, one, even once and grabs you, she kills you automatically. So you don't want that for sure. And that's why I recommended that you save the game before moving ahead. Let's go through this door. The chapter is almost over, finally.
Yeah, I won't even begin to try and explain what just happened, but oh well. There's one more fight for us. Uh, we need to shoot down these three guys that come from inside the bathtubs. And we need to pull out the cords that are uh, on their back or in the back of their head. Pull them out. This is a very Matrix-like scene, except it's even more creepy. Um, and as we do that, uh, they will be deactivated. There's one more to shoot, but this is actually going to conclude this chapter, my friends. Um, so, as always, I just want to thank you all for following this series, um, for taking the time to commenting and liking the videos. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry this chapter took so long to be released, but uh, as you, some of you may know, I'm in the United States, so I don't have as much time as I normally would have to record. But I'll try and release the next chapter as soon as possible. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Take care, my friends.